All right. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys. And so begins another stint of long distance. I say goodbye to Ruby, and uh, I'm gonna be gone for, I don't really know. Uh, I've got a couple client jobs that are taking me to the Middle East. One of them is tentative, one is confirmed. So that's the reality. You don't always know where you're gonna be with this job. Uh, usually I don't even know where I'm gonna be next week. There's always three or four things that are up in the air and maybe one or two of them materialize. It's kind of an exciting thing. Sometimes it's a bit of a downer because you want to know when you'll see your girlfriend next. But anyways, Chris is a, a reasonable substitute. That's right. Thanks, yeah. Chris. Appreciate that. We, we, we actually have the perfect height ratio, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm Big Spoon when Ruby can't be. Okay, that's not where I expected this to go. <laughs> The client has kindly upgraded me to business. Uh, I generally am not a big fan of spending my money on that kind of thing. I'd rather, you know, just put up with the back seat for a 12 or 16 hour flight than give up an extra thousand or two thousand dollars in some cases. So, but when the client is paying, you better believe I'm gonna enjoy it. It's one of the most incredible luxuries of life and I don't put that lightly. Expenses are high in this travel vlog business so you have to be smart where you choose to spend your money. For me, I'd rather save it, have it available so that I can do investment properties. As you guys saw earlier, I'm currently looking in Miami. Had to put a bit of a pause on that. Didn't find the spot I was looking for, but I think I'll be going back in about a month. Vlogging in airports always sucks. There's always announcements. So anyways, um, and the building in Bali is coming along, guys. I'm really, really pumped. We haven't actually broken ground in any way, shape, or form. I haven't even found my builders yet, but the architects have done such a great job with the first design, and I'm really pumped about it. More on that to come. Chris, would you be mad at me if I went and peeked in the business lounge? If you went on what? Peeked in the business lounge. I'll sneak you out like a, just like a brownie just, or something. Just stuff your pockets with snacks. With like hash browns, tater tots? Perfect. Ruby saw this, she would be so jealous. This is our favorite dessert, Tres Leches. If you've never had it, try it. And this one is actually so fire. The key is to have it drenched in condensed milk, a sprinkle of cinnamon on top, it's freaking bomb. And so begins my 16 hour journey in a metal tube through the air. Now one of the really interesting things that I had on one of my previous flights is when I flew business, they actually didn't enforce the mask which is really, really nice. We'll see if that's the case here. No idea. All right. So excited. Honestly, whenever I'm flying like this, I don't care if the flight is eight hours or 16. It doesn't make a difference. It's just the best session of work for me. I have no distractions. Even not having internet can be a really nice thing. So I'm gonna power through a lot of work. Enjoy all of this leg room. Look at that. I'll let you guys know my experience of flying here with Emirates today. To be honest, Emirates has been, let's just say it hasn't always delivered the best experience from my time in economy. I generally fly in the back of the bus, or in this case, on the lower deck of the plane. Right now, with the 747 this big, we're actually, uh, the business is the top floor. I know they have different aircraft. This has to be one of their older style uh, business seats. But even though the interior is a little dated, it's not always just about that. It's also about the experience, the food, the service, and uh, I'll let you know how that goes. All right, so for the first course, we've got here some tomato soup, some salad, and uh, any beverage that you want. I'm a bit of a sparkling water addict, so I am downing that as it comes. Ew, that's the regular water. So we are about two hours into our flight. So far, so good. First dish is great, and uh, service is really fantastic. To be honest, they don't really ask you to put your mask on, which is obviously not the case down below. 16 hours wearing one of those can definitely get very uncomfortable, and you know, everyone has to make their own personal decisions, but I'm glad the option is available up here. Second course, boom. We now have some salmon with some capers, some sun-dried tomatoes, and some roasted potatoes. All in some sort of like a Bernays sauce. I think that's the closest I'll ever get to being a food blogger. How is the actual taste? I'd give it like an eight out of 10. Really quite good. Dessert has arrived. It's like a chocolate cake of some sort and some red wine. Very comprehensive, I know. Well, since my camera battery died and I can't be bothered to charge it, tired. It's time to go to bed, but the beautiful thing is, all you gotta do is press the button. All right, it is all set up. So, the 
bed is all set up and I am ready for it. Um, had internet basically most of the flight. I paid the $20 to upgrade and uh, just went through a lot of Instagram stories, uh, doing some DMs, just like responding to, I mean, maybe it was you I responded to, you know? The truth is, it's something that's very uh, seldom done because I just fall behind. I just wanna say I wanna thank every single one of you guys that go through the process of DMing me. I don't always get back, but I do my very best. So thank you for, uh, you know, putting yourself out there. It's a lot. Okay, one last thing. I just want to say this is one of the longest lay flats I've ever experienced. As a six foot eight individual, I am totally fine. We got jokes aside, if you were six foot two, you'd probably still not touch edge to edge. It's pretty pretty spacious. Not bad. Alright, now good night. So as a philanthropist, entrepreneur, space traveler. I am a large advocate of what goes around comes around. So today we're gonna go surprise a random economy passenger with some loot. Let's freaking do this thing. So I know what you guys are thinking. Wow, he's so courageous for going down there. I know. Psst. Gift for a random economy passenger. What did I get to deserve this? Well guys, if that didn't inspire you, then I don't know what will. Please leave a like for generosity. <laughs> Dude, see you later. <laughs> Just kidding. What's up with you? I have another gift. I brought work. What do you want? I've got some photos for you to edit. Which ones? <laughs> so, my man Chris here got blue balled to the maximum. The client accidentally sent us two business tickets and we were like, oh, that's awesome. Like, Chris gets to join me. And then all of a sudden they messaged us like, 12 hours before, which is totally fine. But they were like, uh, we sent you the wrong ticket for Chris. Luckily, I was able to get a whole row. That was nice. The flight gods have looked at you in favor and they've said, you are a good man. And they gave you a whole row. And then I came downstairs and I said, here's some photos to edit. Take advantage, man. Guys, as I was walking back, one of the ladies working here was like, look outside, there's Aurora Borealis. Wow. That is so crazy. It's literally dancing. It's so, so beautiful. This will never give it justice. Right behind the bar here, guys, they have a giant Polaroid camera. And this gentleman just took a photo of me that's developing now. Ah, oh, dude! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I think you're gonna keep the three, two, eight. So oh, okay, that's awkward. So we can cuddle tonight. No, that's okay. We'll take that key away. Yeah. Hi, hi, Ruby. Ruby! The weird British kid's here. Yeah, it's broken up. Did you like leave your apartment? Hello, Lady Rubington! Yeah, Emma, I can't hear you guys. Hold on, I'm gonna call back. Well, that's anticlimactic. That's very anticlimactic. Hello, Lady Rubington! Oh my god, you're here! I know, I've gone a bit a bit blonder now. Oh it's, yeah, it's, wow, it's, I just noticed that. It's grown you. out a little. Thank you! See, this is life now, you guys. There's three of us here. Yeah. So here's something you probably don't think about much. Haircuts. When you're traveling, you have to find a new hairdresser, a new barber, a new everything every time. So right now we're driving around trying to find someone. We've gone to two locations that haven't worked out. But we're gonna try one more because I'm getting a little bit bushy up here. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Dubai, by the way. We uh, had a lovely flight arrived um, and reunited with Robbie after almost two months apart. Sounds like a long distance relationship to me. It's been hard. I cried myself to sleep every night, but we made it through it. Yeah, let's see how this turns out. Wish me luck. God, look at that. They're inside like an igloo bubble. That's how you can sit outside but still have air con in Dubai. You gotta think outside the box or think inside the bubble. If you've ever wondered what little random neighborhoods in Dubai look like, some of them look like this. I don't know where I am, but I can show you one thing I know. That thing right there. I qualify the man cave. How are you doing? You did the vlog, sir? I make vlogs. Mostly black. And you nailed it. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, you want to be in it? I'm Kenny. You're from the Philippines? Yeah, of course. Right on. <laughs> Out of anyone I get recognized by, it's Filipinos first. They always recognize from the Philippine series. It's insane. exactly what I needed. Thank you. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye. That was a good cut. And trust me guys, when you travel, you never know what you're gonna get. It's Russian roulette. I've experienced it all. Like I've had, you know, ex-girlfriend beginning of quarantine style of haircuts. That one was interesting. I have had amazing cuts from the side of a road. And uh, this one is just 
It's just what I needed. Although they had one part that was really funny. They put a damp cloth on my face and it was like hot and wet. And I felt like I was getting waterboarded, but I trusted him. So it was like a nice waterboarding. So this is where we're staying. It's called The Rove and yeah, there's like four or five of them in Dubai. Uh, when I'm here on my own budget, to be honest, I don't care about luxury. I just want to find something that's clean, efficient. So this place has always been really good. This is how you know you have a good team. Check this out, guys. Crikey, it's a wild edit. We're now, we're now gonna look less alike now. Robbie's, Robbie's looking for a raise. <laughs> yeah, no, you do, you do still look like twins. Next time I'm just gonna say it's the triplets. Wow. Quite, quite the sorny. Thank you. Should've got that. No, I should've got that. <gasps> that looks so yeah. good. That'll look lit. Yes. So it's, uh, it's like 3.45 a.m. I never, ever take sleeping pills. But I took one last night. Even with the sleeping pill, I still woke up at like 3.30 a.m. And now I'm watching Cody Co, having a good laugh. And uh, luckily the gym's like 24 seven, so I watch a bit of YouTube and then we'll go to the gym. <sighs> That's me laughing, because Cody Co's funny. Thank you.